Okay, we're gonna give you a little tour of our latest project. It's called the Olivia Project, and it's for a client who lives in Idaho. We're delivering it tomorrow, so this is our farewell video and a tour of everything we put into it. So this is the foyer or the entryway of the van. We've got our partition door here, which locks a couple different ways. Also has storage, which is holding my phone right now. It goes like this. You can lock it from both sides, um, which is super nice. And then you can hinge it back up here. Handlebar for getting in. Over here we have a table that is super durable. I think it can hold like 200 pounds. So it'd be great for working if you're working on the road or if you want to entertain, make some drinks for some friends, cook. It can hold your toaster oven and hook into the power, which is right up here. So we'll just turn this back down. And then we've also got our electrical here. Every light in here is dimmable. We've got our wet room over here with our Trellino uh, composting toilet. It's super lightweight and easy to take in and out. We've just got a bungee around it so that it's secure when we're driving. We did a Riverstone floor, which is so pretty. We wanted this to feel like a spa and not like a typical bathroom that you find in vans. Um, Everything is super waterproofed up to the standard that you would waterproof a shower in your home. Um, we did treated treated cedar paneling along the entire shower. Uh, this is specifically a wet room. So we've got a drain in here and then a, um, a hook right here for your solar powered uh, shower bag. So there's not actually any plumbing in here. You could do plumbing in here, but the lady who is getting it only wants to use a shower, you know, every once in a while. So she didn't want to worry about having a super heavy tank. Um, so it's a great alternative. And then we have our Nautilus self-cleaning shower, which closes. It's awesome. Offers some privacy when you're using the bathroom. Just close it. Super intuitive to install and actually looks really nice. So then after the wet room, you'll move into the kitchen. This is the kitchen. We've got a nice butcher block, um, a solid granite matte black sink with a really cool faucet that I actually want to install in my kitchen at home, a gooseneck faucet, paper towel holder, and then we've got upper storage. We've got hydraulics in here to keep these open when you're getting stuff out, which is really nice. And we did a rattan detail to just kind of bring home that organic look. Um, our water system and foot pump down here. Then we've got all of our drawers for storage. All three of these open and have storage. We have more storage in this unit over here, which houses, it's kind of like our appliance um, storage area. So we've got our Dometic fridge, which is awesome. One of the requests was that we had a fridge that was at eye level, so it was super easy to organize and get things in and out. Um, and then we've got our Jackery battery system up here. Super awesome, it's a 2000 Pro. We'll make another video about how we do our electrical. It's a bit of a hybrid between making your own and then using a all-in-one generator. So we'll do a little tutorial on that at some point, but it powers everything in the van. And it can handle things like a toaster oven, an induction burner, etc., which you can easily plug in either here or directly into the Jackery and use this table. Back here, we've got some extra storage. Um, she wanted some baskets to store her clothes in, which is really nice. And then over here, we've got our lounge, which is pretty cool. It can seat a ton of people, probably three adults on both sides comfortably. Um, and then we did this table, which actually has a leaf right here so that we can add some more space if people need more room to get in and out. Um, but really nice place to kind of sit, hang out, play cards, look at the view wherever you're cam camped out at. And then this lounge actually turns into a bed as well. I'm just gonna put this leaf back up. And then down here, we just screw this down, but the cameraman's gonna have to get out of the way. And this one out too, but not too much. You can move these pillows over here. This comes down here. And the size of the bed is about the width of a pole. It's a little shorter though. This is really nice. Then you can just get on here like this lounge, watch the sunset with your friends. <laughs> and 
what's even cooler and the best thing about this is that we also installed a bed lift. So this is a castle winch bed lift and it works like this. for watching our tour of the latest project, the Olivia Van. Um, if you want to follow along or if you have any questions, want to learn how we converted this or maybe want to work together on a conversion van, a vintage trailer or a home project, um, please give us a follow. Our handle is at TJ's Dwellings on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, etc. Um, and you can find more information on our website, which is, <laughs> this is Levi. <laughs> um, you can find more information on our website, which is tjsdwellings.com. So we hope to see you following along or hear from you soon. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs>